If you're running your own online business or if you're trying to grow an online presence, the single most important thing for you to be focusing on right now is how to use video or more importantly, how to edit video so that your videos stand out from the crowd and get you engagement. So in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through how to use the tool of my choice, that is ScreenFlow and specifically ScreenFlow for Mac. ScreenFlow is an editing or video editing software that I've been using for years and it's super simple and it is my go-to tool of choice for editing all my videos. So if you wanted your video to go like this, so you can actually maybe showcase or actually do a video walkthrough of some online training or even share some slides in a presentation with your image either at the corner or even taking that image out altogether just to showcase those slides. Or even if you wanted to showcase some graphics across the screen to tell somebody about your offer. Or in this example, I have a free guide. ScreenFlow isn't the only tool I use to grow my online business. I use a select number of tools and you can actually get the checklist of all the tools that I use to run this online business. You can head on over to timpeekman.com forward slash tools and download your free copy today. So what I'm actually going to do is show you how I created this short video by taking you inside of ScreenFlow and showing you the action steps that I would take. So I've just finished up recording that small section for this video and I'm going to show you inside of ScreenFlow what I would do first. So initially I would select the document settings and as this is capturing I'm on a MacBook Pro it's actually capt captured the custom sizing. I would just change it to 1080p because I'm uploading this video for YouTube. Then all you see down here is you've got uh, the stream from my camera is on top and then the actual stream from recording my MacBook Pro is on the bottom and then you've obviously got the the voice or what I'm capturing in from my microphone uh, in the top there as well. So all you need to do is play around with the canvas settings so as we've resized that to 1080p I would just minimize that uh, desktop image and just have a play around with that and then the actual uh, camera settings I would just make that uh, full screen so that's how I would start the video I would have it on myself full screen and then I would go through and make sure that uh, the the canvas might need to come down a little bit that's probably uh, a little bit better if I move that down make sure that this is on top and then what I would do next is I would go through and cut out any ums or ahs just by scrolling through and then identifying where there's any pauses or where there's any mistakes I would just hit T on my keyboard and then chop that out hit T again and then I would just highlight what you need to delete and just hit delete. So what I'm going to do now is pause this video and then go through and clean up uh, the first edit. Okay so all I've done here is I've just cleaned this up a little bit. I've taken out the dead spots and it, it is okay to make mistakes. Don't get worried about trying to do it in a wanna. I see a lot of paralysis analysis when people actually want to get videos out in a wanna. Don't be worried. Everyone makes mistakes. You All you can do is just trim them out. That's why the edit is so important. And I did this just by clicking on this little magnifying glass here drilling into the the actual point I wanted and then actually just clicking uh, clicking T and then just deleting a chunk uh, so that's that's all I did so I've got quite a clean so that's how I start and then I go on to actually how to use this so it's kind of meta but this is what I would say in in the raw video So I was anticipating something happening here. You click into the actual frame itself and then click on video, click action. And then what you want to do is click and drag the video to wherever you want to actually see it. So if you wanted it at top right, uh, bottom right, top left, just make sure you end up with it in the position that you want. And then you can actually see how that goes. So. Okay, so you can then zoom into that and you can adjust uh, the actual length of that transition just by uh, pulling out this slider here. Or you can actually move the whole thing just to make sure that it is in the right time frame that you want. So I think that's a bit early. So when you say this. Yep, so that's fine for me. 
Uh, and then if you were uh, if you wanted that in a different place, just you can just click and drag it. Then uh, if I zoom out again, I wanted to go to the next section. Um, if you were coming out to here, and then if you wanted to put some graphics on your actual. Uh, Okay, so what you do there is just click up to the little text and then text and titles, I would just click text. And then again, it just pops up on the top. Anything on top will show first. So what I would say here is whatever you're trying to get them to take action with or promote or whatever message or reinforcement that you wanna give. So I would say, get access to my free guide something like that you will see obviously the the final version when i actually click submit onto this and you can play around with this um so you can have like a if you right click onto it you can have a starting transition you can have uh, an ending transition i like to put these in so it fades in and fades out um and then here you can actually see So that's all you're going to do. You can play around with these. You can you can make it bold. You can you can change around the, the actual size or the color. Uh, I think I have a couple of lines in mind. So I have the title and then uh, where to go to get it or a little bit more information about it. Um, it is semi-transparent, which is quite nice. So you can actually see through it as well. So you can have a play around with uh, whatever this looks like for you. And then it will actually fade out again once you've actually finished talking about it. So that's pretty much it, how to actually use uh, changing the actual footage from your camera. Uh, if you wanted to play around with the, the voice, you can actually click here, uh, change the, the volume of the voice. I usually just bang mine all the way up to 190%, but it all depends what your intake is like. Uh, and any lighting as well. So if, if you wanted to play around with uh, any of the lighting, you, you can actually go down to sort of color controls here and you can play around once, once you're in here with the saturation the brightness and the contrast but again i don't tend to get uh, hung up on anything like that i just try and make it super simple uh when i go to the ending uh, i've also actually recorded the last bit so i will put this recording uh embed this recording into this um this gap here this section here and then i've also recorded uh the the final piece so then what I would do is go to the end and then I would add an ending transition. You can scroll over to the ending transition. You can zoom into it. So I like to zoom in and zoom out just so I can get uh, a little bit more fidelity into that. And then I just tend to fade out. So once that is done, so then I'll fade out. So that's pretty much how I would do that. Make sure you, you save the file. So file, save as, and give it a name. Um, hopefully you've done a bit of research, keyword research on YouTube. If you're putting this up for YouTube to be discovered, uh, but the single most important thing is to practice. So like do a video, then edit it, then edit it again. And by the time you actually edit two or three or four videos, you're going to get a little bit quicker. And so it won't take as long and you'll get better at editing. And then you can put out video after video and hopefully get discovered. And once you get discovered, you can then grow your audience online and your influence to impact your online business. So hopefully you found value in this short video on how to edit videos with ScreenFlow. That link once more, head over to timpeekman.com forward slash tools to get a free PDF checklist of all the tools I use to run my online business. Hopefully that's provided value to you today. And I look forward to seeing you again on another video soon.